let's start things off by studying the flower sweep. First, we'll take a quick look at it and then we'll break it down. I usually start this one in the closed guard with double sleeve control and then I reach down and grab low on my partner's pant. Now I'm going to uncross my feet and stomp my foot on the mat on the same side as the sleeve I have and then as I kick high in the armpit I pull the leg and tip them over. The great thing about the flower sweep is that it's low risk. If you don't hit it, normally you just close your guard and keep on working. This next sweep is a powerful sweep called the hip bump sweep. It can be done in many different ways, but we're going to show you how we like to teach our beginners. We start things off from the closed guard, removing our partner's arms from our body. Now we can sit up without obstruction, so we uncross the feet and swing over the head and shoulder, posting the hand on the floor, not the elbow. Now pay attention here, we thrust the hips, but if you look at my grip, I'm holding his right arm so he couldn't post that on the mat, and that should take me directly to the mount position. In this angle, you can see how important it is for me to pull my right foot back towards my bottom to get the highest bump possible. Make sure you don't take your partner straight back over their knees, but instead over to the side and directly to the mouth. Next, we'll show you a variation that resembles the hip bump sweep, except this time we're going to be trying to go for the finish and get our partner in the triangle choke. Let's break this one down. So just as before, we remove the hands from the body. And now, instead of going over the head, we're gonna use a collar tie type of grip with the right hand and hook behind their neck. Now look at the right foot, it's loaded. What we have to do here is bump the hip and throw them out to the side, making them post their hand so that we can now remove our bottom leg and throw it over the shoulder, locking up the triangle setup. Now, just as any triangle, we're gonna cross the arm with two hands, control the head with two hands, start to make an adjustment, grab the shin, and fold the legs for the finish. Next, we'll show you two variations of a very traditional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu sweep, the scissor sweep. On the first variation, we start from closed guard and achieve collar sleeve control. Now, we move our hips to the opposite side of whatever side we are holding. Notice how the left leg is still up high, it hasn't dropped yet. Now the right knee slides in across the partner's chest and just under my grip. And next I cup his knee with my left leg, pulling him off of his heels and then kicking over and swiping the bottom leg. The scissor sweep is an old sweep, but it's definitely a good sweep. You can set it up in lots of different ways and some of the common problems with this sweep include not turning enough to your side and also not bringing that leg in enough to where your shoelaces touch their side. This would be incorrect right here in the picture. Now, if you see it correctly, you'll notice that I bring my shoelaces all the way to my partner's ribs and that gives me a hook on the side of their body. Here, I can drop my leg and start to pick them up off of their heels, giving them a hard kick and landing straight in the mount position. Next, let's look at a variation of the scissor sweep. We start things off the same, moving our hips to the side and sliding the leg in, but this time we move our shoulder back and step directly on top of the knee. This is obviously the knee push variation. Now, I kick out the knee, pulling my partner over and going straight to the mount position. Let's look at it in full speed. The next sweep we'll be taking a look at is called the kite sweep. This is one of the first open guard sweeps that most people learn, and it's very closely related to the scissor. Let's take a look at it. So we start from close guard, moving our hip out and inserting our shins inside the biceps. Make sure to keep your partner's hands close to your pockets. Now we hip out to one side and place the top side foot directly on the bend of the bicep. Now I'm gonna drop my bottom leg, cupping his knee, and then pull hard on the sleeve, kicking them over directly to the mount. 
On this one, be sure to almost fully lock out the top leg that's on the bicep and give it a really strong pull directly to mount. And in competition, this one will give you six points, two for the sweep, four more for the mount position. Similar to the scissor sweep, the kite sweep also has some great variations. In this one, you'll notice that instead of dropping my leg outside, I push my partner's knee and I get myself to the top of mount. So again, we'll be starting from closed guard with sleeves and then working our way into the double shin control. Always be sure to keep your partner's hands low so they can't come around the knees again. Now, again, high foot on the bicep. But in this case, I see that I have a clear step directly to the top of my partner's knee. So my left foot moves, and as I go to push that out, I'm gonna pull the sleeve and kick hard over the top, again achieving the mount position. Now we'll show you two variations of one of my favorite sweeps from open guard, the tripod sweep. This is great for both beginners and advanced students. And when you practice it enough, you can even add a knee cut guard pass at the end. Let's give it a deeper look. Most passers will grab your sleeve before they stand up. And when they do that, you should immediately cross grip their sleeve and also control their elbow. Now let go of the elbow, grabbing the Achilles tendon and then uncross your guard, pushing them back with your hamstrings, making them take a step. Now look at the left foot, foot on the hip, the other one behind the knee. And not only am I going to sweep here, but I'm going to also try to get a knee cut guard pass. So right away, my right leg over his will drop to the ground. And now I pressure my weight onto his body, scooping the shoulder and sliding underneath. In this final variation, we're gonna still go for the tripod sweep, but this time, no knee cut pass. Sometimes, it's just not possible. So as you can see, the same sweep is set up. But watch it this time. My feet will go inside and my elbow on the ground, heisting my hip and getting up ready to pass. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys very soon on the next one.